So what's up, everyone, and welcome to our first episode of Pamela. Now, Pamela is a relatively new survival horror game. It came out sometime around last week, if I recall, and it is an early access indie game. And from what I hear, it's a very early access game in that there are still issues with regards to bugs and stuff like that. But I have played it a little bit just to get acquainted, and so far it looks pretty good. So I think I would like to start off right away with this. So let's get going. Okay, so while this is loading up, I'll give you a quick backstory to this game of at least what I know. Uh, you're some sort of patient that was in cryosleep. You wake up out of cryosleep and you find out that this Garden of Eden sort of uh, city, futuristic city, has been completely decimated. Uh, if you want to get some idea of what this theme is like, then it's kind of like Resident Evil... Uh, crossed with Elysium, if you can imagine that. And so you're in some sort of utopian city controlled by some computer. And for some reason, everybody in the city has either died or probably worse, uh, become some sort of zombie fest. And so now you're trying to figure out what to do. And uh, there are some resources in your hands, but there hasn't been uh, much tutorials with this. And that's one of the reasons why I played this a little bit uh, in advance, just to get some idea of what's going on so that you don't have to watch me futz around with the controls. Okay, so I think we're ready to move ahead now. Okay, so as mentioned, you just came out of cryo sleep. And as you can see, here's a cryo chamber that you come out of. And as you can imagine, since you've just woken up, you don't really have any resources with you. But you do have this interesting PDA looking thing on your arm. And it does give you some interesting information with regards to the status of yourself, you know, your inventory, and this thing called Pamela. And Pamela, from what I can see in this panel, seems to be a bunch of level ups or boosters that you do you get for your body. Now, if you notice, there's already one in there, and that's from a the previous save game that I used to try out this game. And for whatever reason, I got this in my new game as well. So I'm not particularly complaining about it, but I did find that curious. I'm not sure if it's a bug or that's how it's intended to be. Now, there are these other things like the inventory and the status of your body, which for the data is still still not easy to uh, understand. You also have this map, which looks nice, but so far from a practical point of view, isn't all that great. And then this data pad, which seems to be some background data, but as you can imagine right now, there isn't any data in here. I got a feeling, thing. Oh, uh, this has changed. So there must have been an update to the things that are going on. I got a feeling that that's the case because uh, I would expect that with all the some of the bugs that people have seen that the company, the gaming company is uh, busy trying to patch things up. So I would think that there are patch updates that's going on. Now, aside from this arm thing, uh, there is one additional utility that you have, which is the scanner. And the scanner you can use to, of course, uh, scan these items. And it tells you, well, there's nothing in this one. Uh, it tells you if there's anything in there. Uh, if it also tells you if it's locked or not. And you get all this information that you can do to start gathering resources. Uh, you also have this light. And that's basically all the things you have so you have to use the scanner to start figuring things out and for the most part there isn't that much stuff to pick up as you can see none of this stuff that you see lying on the floor is really easy to pick up now there are occasional things that are lying around that you could pick up but you eventually have to differentiate them and if you're not really sure then you could scan it and see if it uh, highlights to identify that there's something there that you can pick up Okay, so now we're coming into this abandoned, well, not abandoned. I'm not sure if it's abandoned. 
but you have all these rooms and from the last game I played here it seems to be still relatively benign you could spawn out of one of these rooms I spawned out of a different room in the previous game and I think they're basically all the same with the exception of the things that you might be able to pick up within each one of these so the graphics seem pretty nice okay let me go into all these rooms and see if there's any resources that I can get Uh, nothing. Okay, so these are these cards that you could pick up for credit. Now, I'm not sure exactly sure what I can do with the credit because I haven't found anything that uses these credits so far. But, of course, I've just started the game, so I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, so here's a locked one. So if you do find these locked ones, then this PDA also acts as a scanner. And if you find an easy one, then I can actually hack it, like you can see here. And then, of course, they usually have something inside. So let's see what is in this one. What the heck's that? Oh, okay, well, I'll take it. I think that's a medical thing that you can use to heal yourself. Overall, uh, there's a lot of this stuff that's lying around, but most of it is just unobtainable items. Uh, here's another cryo chamber. All these rooms are basically the same. And this is basically you start out by spawning in one of these rooms. So let me keep on going down. Yeah. As you can imagine, it's pretty dark outside here. Yeah, this is this other part of the scanner, which I can't figure out what it does. There's a third part of the scanner, and I don't know what that does either. I think one of them repairs, and another one is for deploying stuff from your inventory that are big, like tents and stuff like that. So I don't have anything right now, so I can't test it out, but uh, I think that's what it's used for. Okay, so let me try if I can hack this one. Oop. Should be doable. The reason I don't hack anything beyond easy is because then it starts calling security and supposedly these robots come out. Whoa! I got body armor. I think that's body armor. I'm not exactly sure if that's body armor or if it's just clothes, but uh, I'll take it. Let's see. Let me check the inventory. Yeah, there it is. And there we go. Okay. I have no idea if that uh, increases my armor level, but I'll take it. Okay. Visit data pad for further information. Uh, I can't seem to find anything that indicates that... Oh, is that something? Do I have stealth or something like that? I'm not sure what that provides, that armor or whatever it is that I put on provides. But uh, I figure that it's better than not having anything on, so I'll keep on going. Now, this darkness is pretty eerie, and although there isn't any eerie music, the silence is actually quite even more haunting in some ways than actually having eerie music. Now, if I do start hearing eerie music, that will be usually a signal that something's coming up. So, so far, I think we're in okay shape, so I'm going to keep on going. And looking to see if there's any other things around here. Huh, this one's already shown to be empty. Oh, so is this one. Okay. Now, as you can see, all of these rooms are basically identical. And is there anything around here? No. Uh, it's hard to say. Huh? 
Oh, I wonder if this is the place where we originally spawned out from and that's why the door was open. Yeah. It looks like I've already scanned these things. Okay, so we're back to where we were, the room where we were. And we could keep on going. Yeah, these rooms are nice in that. You do get some items that help you out in the beginning. I don't want to en end up moving forward uh, without anything. And so as tedious as this may be, it's probably important to scan everything and to... Oh, here's another locked item. But that is not m easy, so I think I'll leave it alone. Whoa! Okay, so here's one of these dead guys. As you can see, things are growing out from him. Uh, it kind of reminds me of those characters in The Last of Us where those mushrooms were growing out of the guy's head. Uh, except that this almost looks like bone. So I don't... It, is that thing a lot? No, I think that's another dead body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of do not want to get too close to these things uh, just in case they do jump at me. What the heck is that thing? Yeah, this guy, whenever he picks things up, goes into a, this rampage and tries punching everything. What did I get? What the heck is that? Okay. Okay, so let's keep on going. No, 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 that's not right. Whoa. Okay. This flashlight can sometimes uh, give you a little bit of a shock. Is that another key? Uh, yeah, that's, I think, on the, some more credits. And here's another thing that we can scan. I'm always worried that one of these days, one of these things, one of these dead bodies is going to come out to come back to life and try to attack us. But so far... They seem to be dead, so that's good. Sure, okay, so this world. is Pamela. I asked the technicians why I couldn't feel my hands. Their blank faces offered no answers. And I'm not still not exactly sure what Pamela is, but you see these uh, consoles on the wall, and if you activate them, they, they give you these different stories about the city. Oh, this is good. That's an inventory kind of expansion. If you use it, you get one more extra slot on your inventory. So let me just do that. There. Good. Okay. We don't have that much space. Eventually, we'll have a bunch of junk, of which I'm not exactly sure what all of them are useful for. But uh, I'll keep on picking up whatever I can. Uh, yeah, here's a laptop. Uh, this is hard to read. Now, if I recall, this is already in our document section, so it's easier to just take a look at our data pad. Sorry, not document, but data pad section. And take a look at it from here. So here it is. And basically what this seems to indicate is something happened where there was an epidemic that went on. And it's kind of quarantined everything in this area. Now I'm not exactly sure if the epidemic is like a virus or if it's man-made or I'm not exactly sure about that. But... Um, yeah, whatever the case, this seems to be the result of whatever happened during the epidemic. Yeah, okay, so this vending machine is pretty nice. And what's interesting is, is that although it asks for credits, so far I seem to be able to get anything without spending any credits. Now, it has food and water type stuff, and there's all this other stuff as well. So I kind of tend to... 
Oh, there's flux. Okay. I don't think I need this. This looks like something that enhances your power for a little while and then it actually deteriorates you. So I don't need that right now. Oh, I think this is spinach. So let me pick that up. Okay, let me grab a few of these sorts of things. Okay, I'm going to keep on grabbing things from the vending machine and hopefully we'll finish this up and then we could keep keep on going oh here's some more of that uh, flux or whatever that's called oh and here's some good old alcohol I'm not sure if that actually can be substituted as water or for water okay that's an orange it looks like a light bulb almost and that's an apple I think that's an apple okay so I don't need the flux okay so let's see what our stat okay our food and our water levels are going down pretty quickly so I better eat and drink something Okay, I think we're okay a little bit for the moment, at least for substance, and so we could keep on going. There's just so many things to scan around here. Ah, power cell, or battery, I guess. Okay, so now we're moving forward, and the f more we move forward, the more I'm starting to get into areas. Wow, this is really dark. This is really dark. I have. I am not sure. We're now starting to get into areas where I'm not exactly sure if I'm safe. Okay, here's some more credits. And so far, this isn't. The character isn't real. Is that a dead bot? No, that's just junk. Okay, the character isn't real. Is that dead? I think that's dead. Yeah, I think she's dead. Wow. Okay, let's keep on moving before she comes alive and starts coming after us if she will. I'm always worried about passing all these dead bodies and then finding out later on that they've just come to life and are coming after you. At least I hope that's not the case. Let me pick this up. I think that's food. Okay. so dark I'm not sure if I'm going in the same direction or covering areas that I've already looked at uh, I can't seem to get into that area I think I already l did I know I guess not let me scan this nope nothing in here anything else around here Uh, there's something here. Oh, it's locked again. Let me see if I could get it. One more. There. I like these easy locks. the heck is that? It's some upgrade thing. 
Spend attachment upgrade. Okay, check the inventory. I don't see it here. I don't know, we picked up so much stuff, I'm not sure what all of this stuff is, but I don't see that upgrade thing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh well, okay, let's keep on going. Uh, here's another container. And that looks like another, let me just look inside here. Oh, okay. This looks useful. Let me get that. You have all these alcoholic beverages in here. I'm not sure if the uh, alcohol is supposed to quench your thirst or not, but I'm going to keep on grabbing these things or whatever I can find. Okay, so let me consume some stuff before I die or go into some starvation mode. I think my strength and stamina get affected if uh, the food, if I start getting too hungry. Yeah, you could check your PDA if you notice there's some bar graphs on the very left part of that PDA. that gives you some, oh, there's something there. What's that? Uh, morphine, no, I don't think I already, I think I already have that. And I'm not exactly sure, there's supposed to be some painkiller, but I'm not exactly sure what pain does in this. Um, nope, that's not easy. Okay. Yet another dead body. This one's kind of kneeling, so. Now they look like they kind of died just right instantly right there, so I don't know exactly what happened that made them die right on the spot. This is some dead robot. And so far I haven't been able to find any way of activating it or whatever. And I guess maybe it's a good thing that it's dead. Maybe it's not a good thing to bring to life. I'm not sure. Okay, so that is one thing about this game. I'm still not sure what I can... So these bathrooms? Yeah, okay. They're bathrooms. Okay, so I guess we found out. Whoa, what's in here? Okay, I'm now starting to pick food out of the garbage cans of bathrooms. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Whoa. Is there anything in here? Oh, it's a med kit. Except I can't seem to access it. Huh. Huh. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I guess we got to keep on going. Is there anything else? What are these things? Okay, let me scan one. Nothing. And nothing. Okay. Oh, is there anything behind these stalls? No. Uh, that's a good thing. Can I pick that up? No. Sorry if I'm taking so long in looking at all of this, but I'm not sure what's going to happen next. So I'm not sure where you can just skip and move along quickly and what you have to. There's another garbage can. Is there anything in here? Not the garbage can. Is there anyone in here? Uh, garbage can's empty. Uh, no. 
At least not that I can see. I just hope there's nothing in this area. Oh, it's locked. More. There. Okay, so what's in here? The heck is that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what some of these things are, but I guess I'll take it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Doesn't seem to give give me a chance to equip it, so maybe it's one of those things that I can use based upon whatever I scan. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'll keep it. And let's keep on going. Yeah. I don't think so. I have no idea if there's anybody. Nope. 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 So far we haven't run into anything that looks like it will attack us. But it is kind of getting a little bit more creepier as we go. Is that another Pamela unit? A new wing was added to Arc Medical. The permit state it is to further research the decaying genetic material found in residents. Okay, that's interesting. People in decay. Whoa, wow. This is really dark. Now, I, I even have my flashlight on. I don't even want to imagine what it's like if you don't have your flashlight on. Looks like this is all boarded up. Okay, I have no idea looking at this map where we are. Yeah, this looks like it's a whoa, what's that? Okay, let me get that. Yeah, this is looks like it's all boarded up. So whatever it is, maybe it's keeping things in or out, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm in the safe area or if I'm in the dangerous area. Okay, this is getting creepier. This is not... I'm going to keep on scanning things and I have no idea if something's going to come up behind me or whatever. And whatever I can find, I'm just going to keep on picking up. Huh. Oh. Are they dead? There are more dead bodies around here? I... I'm going to look at this, but I hope that there's... That. Okay, so they're still around, so I got a feeling these guys are dead. Okay. Okay. Whoa. You look exactly like that other lady in the room. Uh, this is getting creepier as we go along, and the silence is kind of eerie by itself. Oh, here's another, that looks like another Pamela unit. Whenever the sun rises and the cyanotrope begins to glow faint blue, I'm reminded that only a day, not a decade, has passed. Okay, so I really don't understand what this Pamela is. She kind of 
spouts off a bunch of irrelevant or random things which oh here's another uh, bottle of alcohol anything else no I guess not anything in here no I guess not okay yeah she's spouts off random stuff and you have no idea what the heck she's talking about she almost sounds like a patient and yet she's this computer thing on the wall is there anything out there getting so dark oh is there anything out there sorry if I'm moving slowly but I have no idea where it, this is taking me okay Okay, where the heck are we? Where? What is this? This is another barrack. Oh, okay. So here's a. Wow, this is getting creepier. We're starting to get into things that look like new rooms. I always worry with new rooms that. Oh, another um, battery. Okay. Okay, so f is there, uh, I think we're okay. Just seems to be like, oh, I think my uh, inventory's full. I didn't pick that one up. Yeah, my inventory is full of batteries and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I guess I'll drink some stuff and replace it with that one bottle here. Yeah, sorry for this long uh, video, but this is the first episode, so I'm not exactly sure what I can pass through quickly. And this one's creepy. This one's seriously creepy. It's a lot different from phoning home or even Subnautica. Okay, I think I've opened up my inventory. I keep eating things as I find food and drink so that I can replace it with whatever I have. Okay, so it seems like we're back into the another part of the hallway again. Why they kind of bordered this area up, I'm not... Whoa, what the heck is that? I can't pick it up. I don't have any space, so I'm going to have to move something in here temporarily. And then I think I can equip it. Let me check. It's always good to get armor. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so we have a helmet, and now I could pick up that booze that I had before. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good, so we're kind of a... Uh, have a lot of stuff. And we're coming into another hallway that looks exactly like the one that we were in before. And it may be getting to a point where I may need to stop for this episode because we've been doing this for such a long... What? Oh, wow. Oh, man. That's not good. 
what is there something in front of us so that I have to worry about how to fight this is not good okay I'm gonna go slowly it's a dead body right there I think that's a dead body Okay, whoa. Set up. Whoa, it moved. That one moved. That one definitely moved. Ah, uh, what can I do? I'm not sure if I want to go down, but there's no other place to go, so. What the oh my god no 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 whoa whoa okay okay you're so whoa take it down come on come on go down please please go down whoa okay okay that thing is seriously ugly looking and scary looking uh, at least I seem to have enough strength to take is this thing dead it's still screaming. Oh man, is it gonna get up and uh, become alive again? Oh, my health has gone down a little bit, so I have to be careful. Nothing in here. Now let's keep on going. What the heck is this? Oh, I can't pick it up. Okay, well, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to want to get away from that dead body as much as possible. Where are we going now? What is this? What is all this? How oh, more batteries? I think I have enough batteries. Looks like we're blocked off here. Okay, let me try to hack this for a moment. I like these easy locks. They seem to be doable. Ah, another battery. Okay, what's in here? The heck is that? Is that a gauntlet? What the heck is that? Okay, there we go. Let me try to equip it now. Let me close you off for a second. Yeah, okay. I think that dead body's still over there, so... I'm just worried that it's going to stand back up again. Well, I seem like I can equip it. I'm not as sure, er, sure exactly what it is, but uh, I'll take it. There. Okay. Now we have to go back, I think. I don't want to go back. I'm not sure. Where's that? Uh oh, look at that. Okay, well, I am not sure if that dead body stain. Where is it? Oh. Now, did that dead body disappear because it stood back up and uh, walked away? Or did it just... Oh, is that it? Oh, okay, good. Okay, you just stay dead now, okay? You just stay down there. Relax, don't worry. Let me kick you a few times so that uh, you remain dead. But take it easy. It's been a long night. 
Okay, now this one is underneath a sheet, and so I'm hoping that it doesn't jump up and try to attack us. So far, no real major jump scares, which is good. Okay, so I think uh, we've done quite a bit. I'm going to may go back to where we were spawned and call it a day, but uh, first let me see. Uh, Okay, I think I still have enough health that I don't need to worry about it yet. And so let me go back to where we were. I think we scanned most everything, right? Yeah, we scanned most everything. Okay, so uh, I think this has been a pretty good experience so far. I don't know where to go beyond this point, so I think this is a good place to stop. But I want... Who the heck is that? Where did that guy come from? Whoa. Where did that guy come from? I thought there was only one of these guys. Uh, can I get past him? Can I try to stealth past him? Uh, it's going back the way I want to go back, and I'm not sure. Okay, I don't want to turn off the flashlight because if he attacks me, I gotta be able to see him. But I'm gonna try walking right past him and seeing if this worked. Oh! Okay, okay. I think this is good. Well, let's run away as quickly as possible before. Whoa! They're mo oh, I think these are these dead bodies. Oh man! Let's get back quickly. Get back to where we were before. I just hope there's nothing spawned over here. Ah, uh, so far. Nope. Where was that? Where? Oh. Oh. These dead bodies are not. Helpful in trying to figure out how to get back. Uh, uh, let's see. Whoa. I can't get out of this uh, fighting mode. So I can't see my inventory. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's also a dead body. Yeah, let's get back to where we were. I'm hoping that they can't get through closed doors. So I'm just going to go into one of these spawn rooms and close the door. And I think that's it. So let me get in here. Let me close the door. And okay, we're done for the day. Okay, so... This was quite interesting, a little bit thrilling, and uh, a lot of exploring. So let me let you go now, and I'm hoping that it won't be too too long for the future episodes. As we, I get more understanding of how this gameplay works, I think it'll go faster. But uh, thank you very much for coming along on this adventure. I think this will be one of the more creepier games as we go along, but uh, I'm hoping that there's a good story behind this. Anyway, I uh, will post some more of Pamela in the future. I hope you join us in the adventure. And until the next episode, we wish you all the best. And as always, giant nice day, everyone.